Welcome to another episode of Family Gaming TV. I'm with Paul Weaver, studio director at Junction Point. That's right. <laughs> and um, we're talking about your latest game, Epic Mickey 2. Yes, yeah, thank so, you. Um, well, first of all, perhaps we should start by saying Epic Mickey was a game that was released solely for the Wii. Um, and um, a lot of our family viewers you know, really enjoyed playing that. Yep. What does Epic Mickey 2 do above and beyond what they had in the first game? Well, there's, uh, there's a ton to talk about. Yeah. The, um, we're, we're basically going back to Wasteland in uh, Disney Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're bringing a whole bunch of enhancements. So uh, yeah. I'll cover them in high level and then we can, uh, we can talk about yeah, some, of the, some of the things in, uh, in detail. So uh, the first game was uh, on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, this time around it's going to be on the Nintendo Wii, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Yeah. Uh, we are uh, introducing uh, drop-in, drop-out co-op play. With the okay. second player as Oswald yeah. uh, this time around, and uh, and then I think on the game side of things, we're concentrating on a lot of the feedback that we got from people with the last game, particularly in the areas of uh, you know camera and game persistence, yeah. and uh, and of course voice. Yeah. Yeah. So I think one of the criticisms of the first game was that the, the camera was some, sometimes slightly awkward to um, see where you're going. Well, I, I think the uh, the key thing from our post-mortem of the game was that, you know, we, we, we created this kind of crazy power of paint and thinner. Yeah. And, you know, a, a third-person action-adventure game is difficult enough at the best of times, but, you know, now you imagine a world where, hey, there's a wall there, yeah. and I use thinner and it's gone. Yeah. What does the camera do? Yeah, so that was, that uh, was know, the, the play mechanic, wasn't it? So you had, yeah. you had sort of two two ways to interact with the world. You can either paint yep. it, which would, which would fill in objects, or you could do thinner, and then they, they would vanish, and there were lots of puzzles around, you know, using those two interactions. Somebody would want to adjust the camera, yeah. and the game wouldn't let them do it, which yeah. caused a lot of frustration. So it's completely free camera control this time around, yeah. if you need it. But hopefully, you won't have to use it at yeah. all. Now, the first game was a Wii exclusive, wasn't it? So just on yep. the Wii. Um, so how did you make the decision about which platforms to move it to? And I, I understand that the, the PlayStation uses a move control? It does, yes. But um, does the, is there a Kinect feature? There isn't. You know, I, uh, I'm personally a big fan of uh, Kinect. When you, um, when you think about how powerful that hardware is, yeah. and the fact that it's 150 bucks is just mind-blowing. Yeah, my kids love it. But, <laughs> but the, the, prob the, the, the issue for us is that Kinect games need to be designed as Kinect games, yeah. you know? And uh, the move is a natural fit for us, you know, the ability to, to point at the screen and move. Yeah. It, it goes back to that initial thought way back in the day when we were talking about paint and thinner and having paint yeah. on this hand and thinner on this, uh, yeah. on this hand. Okay. There's an opportunity, I think, on the Wii. Uh, you know, we've, we've got, obviously, the new consoles coming in now. With, um, with the 360 and the PlayStation 3, uh, this this was as um, as much as wanting to really get the Disney Epic Mickey uh, experience out to as many people uh -huh. as possible. Um, and in terms of the age appropriate rating, yes, has it been um, rated by ESRB or Peggy yet? Uh, we don't have any ratings for the game. Uh, one thing that we're aiming for with the title is really to make it something that can be enjoyed by people of all ages. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned earlier the game has a co-op play, so this is where two people can cooperate to play the game and progress through the main story together yep. so that I like doing that with my, my son and my daughter so how does that work in Epic Mickey? Well it's, uh, it's, it's one of the, the big again the plus elements to the game you know uh, we, we were very happy with Disney Epic Mickey but another aspect of feedback was you know well first of all the feedback was please make it multiplayer because yeah. I would love yeah. to play this with my spouse with my significant other with my brother with my sister yeah uh, that was one element the other element is, you know, the, the first game was, you know, easily a 15 to 20 hour experience. Mm -hmm. There were moments, whether it was platforming uh, or problems that you had to solve or, you know, as in the case of uh, this big guy, yeah. where, you know, the, the combat action was a little bit much for people. Yeah. So it's a big element to us to bring co-op gameplay where if you're in trouble, you can actually bring in that second player to help you at any point in the game. So Oswald is a unique character. And what we focused on was uh, a contrasting move set mm -hmm. that's also complementary. And so what I uh, what I mean by that is, uh, for example, uh, 
Mickey has his double jump, which allows him to, to jump uh, high, okay. higher in the air. Yeah. Oswald has his heli helicopter ears, which allows him to glide further. So Mickey, Mickey can jump higher, Oswald can jump further. Yeah. That's, that's a contrast. Uh, where it becomes complementary in our game is that if you have a second player, Oswald can jump into the air, then Mickey can actually jump, grab his feet, oh, really? and then nice. glide, glide together. Yeah. So you know that's oh, a good yeah. that's a good example of yeah. where if you're having trouble with platforming, jump on uh, jump on Oswald's feet, and suddenly yeah. that platform is a lot easier yeah. to, to get past. So both players have the character and the full controls. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, with Oswald, he's got his remote control. And that's got a lot of power um, based around electricity and remote controls. So, uh -huh. so Mickey has the power of paint and thinner. So Oswald, with his electricity, can actually stun the Beetleworks in the game and, uh, yeah. and take them out. And oh, I see, yes, that's, that's a very different way of dealing with them. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, he also has the ability to reprogram bad guys yeah. as well. So, um, you know, it was in the last game, we couldn't really say you could... Uh, you could befriend everything in the game if you wanted to do that. Right. We're doing that this time around. So oh, right. every single bad guy in the game, yeah. you can make your friend so you, if, if you want to. So you could play, you could play through it in a relatively non-violent way. Absolutely. Or even this big, this big dragon here. Yeah, so, um, so this is actually uh, one of the new bad guys in the game. This is, uh, the, these are called the Blotworks. And this is the Blotworks dragon. You, you could have yeah. taken this guy out with, with, with dinner, but instead, we befriended him, yeah. and you know the story it's now. Really the story now is going to branch in yeah. uh, in a in a particular way, and that yeah. was that was something you remember from the last well, I was game. I really quite excited about it, but now I'm really excited. <laughs> well, sounds good. That's really, I think that's a really unusual um, sort of direction to take games, and often just simply nobody asks the question: What would happen if this game wasn't progressed with violence? And it's great to see that you know that's what's well, happening. So, so when is it out? When do I get to play it? It is, uh, it is out on November 18th, which for Disney geeks out there is actually Mickey Mouse's birthday. <laughs> so Birthday <laughs> present for Mickey. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> and it's out on which platforms? Just it is out on uh, the Nintendo Wii, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And is there any plans for anything on the portables at some stage? Uh, nothing that I can comment on at this time. Yeah. <laughs> great, well, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. That's all we've got time for on this Family Gamer TV, but we'll be back with more soon.